All right, so I want to just show a little trick I found to do a find and replace in your factory talk view uh, project that's not uh, tag or text. You, of course, you can use this find and replace, but the only thing it's going to look for is a tag name or if you have text in your project. So if I want to do something else, this is what I did. Um, so the customer wants to see this indicator be bigger, and it's in a whole bunch of places in this project, so I don't want to do every single one by hand. And uh, here's how I figured out how to do it. Um, first, if I look at my screen, I can see that the name of each one of these guys is called arc. Um, so you might have to filter out a little bit more manually if you have a bunch of these and you only want to replace on some of them. But I know I want to replace all the arcs in my project and I want to change their uh, width and height. So um, what I'm going to do is first you have to close the page because of course you can't export that when it's open. Let me just clear out my old export. Oh god. Uh, don't need those guys, just the ones I made. Um, those are gone. We'll export it, and while it's doing its thing, uh, I use Sublime Text. It has a really generous, infinite uh, trial period. And um, what we're going to want to do is first I'll wait for this to finish so I, so I can show you an example of what we're going to find and replace on. So I will show you an example of e-stop because that's what we are looking at before. And I'm just going to look for arc because I know that's the name of it. And here is an example of one. And right at the beginning is where I see my height and width that I want to replace on. And so the way that I'm going to do that is, uh, we'll do replace. So here, name, I want to I want it to do this, but this is a variable. And so the way that I'm going to do that is this is called a regular expression. And you can enable or disable it here. And there'll probably be some stuff in the description on how you can find more about that. But I can do dot for the first character and then maybe two more well i think i don't have more than a hundred so i'm just going to do two dots um and so the the first dot is a wild card for the first decimal character and the second dot is the next one but of course uh, that's not displays yep and still here I've got my same search criteria and I'm gonna put that in the replace area and then down here uh, you put a dollar sign and then an n like a number for each one this is called a uh, I don't remember what it's called this is called a capture group and so this is the first one uh, with the parentheses here, and if you had multiple ones, you could do uh, dollar sign two, as many of you have. But we only have one, so I'm just going to say dollar sign one, and close quotation mark here, and then the rest of it is the, exact, is the same, except for I want them to be 22 by 22. And boom, replace. Yep, found all 62. Hit that. So now it's replaced all of them. Uh, if we go back to line overview, so now the next thing that we need to do is just close and save all these files. So I'm going to save them. Uh, last part we need to do is just import what we saved. So I'm going to say import graphics. Uh, I don't care about backing them up, I already did that. Multiple displays, import file. Now I just want to update. I don't want to create new things on the display. 
And so now I'm going to go to where I saved those and then click on the batch import file because that's just basically a list of names of the files and click finish. Okay, that's done. I can look at my screen from before and they're all bigger. There you have it. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you have any other cool tricks for Factory Talk or other automation applications.